Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Zobabla Collectibles. And today on the channel, we are going to be reviewing Mezco long-awaited new figures. Mezco 112 Dick Tracy versus Flat Top 2 Pack. This is something that I've been waiting for for a long time, ever since I saw it at um, Comic Con last year and on people's channel, man. I was really excited, especially if you're a kid that was born in the 80s and the early 90s. You you have to at least remember the Tracy movie that came out in 1990. It was freaking dope. I love Dick Tracy when I was a kid. I also love for the fact that all the bad guys had their funny shape and they looked kind of scary at the time. I was really scared of the one with the wrinkle face, the prune face, which I regret buying that figure. I'm still looking for that figure. Hopefully I can get it. But man, these figures are expensive. But other than that, man, I'm just like, I'm so happy to have both of these figures in the collection. Not only that, we do get two tater, like tailor suit figures. And you can use these figures for anything, like for Bruce Wayne, for whatever you want to use them for, you can because it's almost the same as the shadow. Uh and I love this era of uh of action uh movies, the way that they dress old school. I love that for uh, I love that a lot, you guys. So before we go any further, please give this video a like, also subscribe to the channel, help this channel grow, let's reach 2,000 subscribers with this review right here. I want 2,000 subscribers with this review right here. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, press that notification bell, because I'm going to be dropping some dope photos of Dick Tracy and the channel going at it with each other, and also they both trying to stop all these bad guys. It's going to be freaking awesome. So hit that notification bell. And also hit the like button and show some support for your boy, Zoe Bad Blood. So let's go ahead and get started with Dick Tracy versus Flat Top. And as you can see, we do have both figures out right now uh, with all their accessories on the stand right here as well as their uh, stand. We'll go over all that, but right now I did want to kind of show off the figures with some of their stuff that they have on them. I didn't, I wasn't able to get a chance to put on Dick Tracy's um his pouch, his gun thing or whatever, but we'll go over that as well. His holster for his gun, man, I'm like, to, to be honest with you, just sw swapping out some of the, um, the figures' hands and stuff and putting on their jackets, these figures have great, great articulation. I'm not lying. This is like, uh, really great articulation for these figures and it needs to be because they are in tailored suits So we need these figures to be able to move and do whatever we can get them in for toy photography For photos and they work perfectly one thing I do want to get off the way before we get started is with this gun We don't get any um, Directions, so I'll definitely show you guys how to take everything apart here So other than that, let's go ahead and uh, strip these figures down and see what they all about. Okay, everybody, starting off with Dick Tracy. Let's go ahead and take an overall look of this dude. I do have this line right here. I'll take it off later. I don't want to do it right now. This dude is freshly new, but here we are with Dick Tracy. I do remember it like in the movie seeing the red tie, and also we do have it on the box as well. I'll show you the box a little bit later towards the end if I don't forget. But real quick, this dude is in a tailor suit. Uh, three-piece suit we do have the jacket over we have a vest and then we have the shirt and you can take all these things off as well I don't know about the vest, but you can't take off his uh, Jacket right here. You could probably take off the vest as well, but man that is freaking insane that we got this kind of uh, Figures these days that we get these these kind of action figures from Mesco 112 We do get bendy wires as well at the bottom of his jacket right here on all, all the way around so that is dope there and you can do that and then also we got the over exaggerated hands for Dick Tracy which is nice as well and then we also get his face we don't get that human face that I thought we was gonna get we got the more of the comic book style if you can see right here even on the um on his stand, this is the way he looked in the comics, so this is the way they were going off of uh, Mezco's known for going straight off the comic books. 
rather than go off the movie. So this is dope right here. Freaking awesome. It would be dope too for them to come out with another figure like exclusive of Dick Tracy with the regular human face from the movie. I think that would be dope too. But overall still dope. And then um, look at the head scope. The head scope is nice. They, we got the hair going back here like he has a nice haircut. And then also we have his eyes closed as it's supposed to be. But overall, just looks really nice. There's nothing else to really go over until we get to the accessories, which is freaking awesome. So that is it for him. Definitely going to give him a uh, 10 out of 10 for overall look. I really do love this look a lot. And the tailor suit is just freaking awesome. Let's move it over to Flat Top. Let's take a look at him. Uh, this character right here, he is a dope figure as well. He just looks scream bad guys. We need more bad guys from Mezco 112, uh, and to get this guy right here is freaking awesome, like a gangster, a bad gangster, and he is, that's what he is, he's a boss, or a gangster boss, and, uh, in the movie, he was more of, uh, he was working for Big Boy, and, yeah, this dude, like, just like he does from the comic books as well, they just did him really, really good, so, head scope, very nice, the tailor jacket, really nice. Same thing with him. We do get the bendy wires in the suit as well. So they went all out on these figures. And they didn't fall short on that. So all the way around at the bottom, we do get bendy wires. That is dope there. We got this bow tie going on with him this time. And this time, we don't get a vest. We just get the white shirt, which is fine. And then we get his belt as well, just like Dick Tracy. Everything else is done well. So this is freaking awesome. And even the jackets, if you look at the two. The jackets are totally different from each other as far as the way they are are created. As you can see right there, there's a big difference with these jackets. So that is dope that they are not identical the same. They both have their different styles. So overall, for both figures, definitely going to give them a 10 out of 10 for the look. Now, let's go ahead and go over the articulation. Let's How these figures move with the articulation. Well, let's go ahead and go over that now. While we're doing the articulation... I'm also going to do it with the jackets on. And we'll go over the jackets while we're doing the articulation as well. So first one I do want to start off with is flat top. Because I already have them in a, uh, a different little tiny pose already. So this dude, as you, as you already know, this dude has double jointed elbows. So this dude could pull out about this much. Keep in mind he is in a suit. And if you take off the suit, he probably could get even more... Uh, articulation out of this dude which is nice and then as far as going up you just have to fix the suit so that way he can get that stretchy uh, his arm to stretch out all the way but as you can see this dude can still punch he could do everything he could do everything that you would and this dude has way more articulation than the Ghost Rider that we got from Mezco 112 early in 2023 so that is a plus there. As you can see, we can get him and like he's about to box someone. And then, of course, his sleeves are going to roll up as he should. If you're wearing a suit, especially if you're a big guy. Uh, I have a big back from uh, bodybuilding, so it's hard for me to even wear suits, let alone lift my arm up. So this is really nice that we do get that movement. And we also have swivel here at the biceps as well. The normal hand that we get from Mesco 112. Is this dude on ball joints? No, he's not on ball joints. So, still great articulation there. And then I'm pretty sure if you could take off this vest like you do with John Wick, you'll probably get even more articulation out of this dude. So, that is dope. And then here, he could look down about that much there. Look straight. And then also, he could look up about that much. I think because of the way his head is made. It's hard for him to look up, but you can use the ab crunch to look up even more, but no problem as far as the articulation in the head. So that is awesome there. And then also the torso, I don't want to get his shirt dirty, so I'm going to kind of cover that. But uh, this dude gets, you can move him back about that much here. And that's what I mean by looking up. And then also moving forward, he has a great ab crunch for a Mezco figure in a tailor suit. So that is awesome. And then you can also get this dude bending side to side. You can turn on, you can swivel him. Uh, and that is for his running poses or whatever you want to do when he's running and Dick Tracy's chasing him or the shadows chase, chasing him. That would be dope. And then also here on the legs, we do get where he could 
kick out about that much so you can still do a kick if you want to put him in a kick pose as well and then he could kick out doing the 90 degrees as well and probably more so if you play with the pants or whatever you could probably give him uh, get them even in a higher motion kick. So that is freaking awesome I can feel their articulation and the torso movement as well great articulation And then this dude has double jointed knees as well. Look this dude is touching his butt better articulation than uh, the uh, Robert Patterson uh, Batman so that is freaking awesome great articulation here. Let's look at the socks on this figure uh, Really nice. I forgot about going over the socks, but that is really nice Mesco uh, went all out. They just could have made it all black, but they didn't. They painted it with some uh, pink socks, the purple socks. Uh, there's purple color in there, brown color, and also black. That is dope. It's like a pinkish kind of, but the shoes are done really nice as well. And then also here, we do have the bottom of the uh, shoe area. Now, let's go ahead and put on his jacket. I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and put on his jacket. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and go over the articulation on this dude for his arms real quick. This dude can still do the same thing, flat top, and then he still get the double jointed elbows. And they made the sleeves kind of big where we can still get that great articulation and not missing out on anything. So basically, this dude could do the same thing as he would and as the as if he doesn't have on his jacket. So that is freaking awesome. Uh, articulation for this figure that's in a tailor suit. Uh, I know a lot of people gonna be like, oh, this and that. He ha the articulation is there, but you got to be willing to work with it. I'm doing it on camera, so it's even harder. So I'm gonna go ahead for a suit, and yeah, I'm gonna give him an eight out of ten. I will give him a ten if he could even move even better in the jacket, which he can. But overall, eight out of ten. Without being biased, an eight out of ten for the articulation for him. And then let's check the ankles real quick as well. He has great ankle. Uh, movement as well as you can see there so that is dope there and uh yeah this dude is freaking awesome so let's move on to dick tracy see if he could do the same thing here we are with dick tracy this dude has even better articulation uh with his arms you can actually do a full t pose here and then this dude could look up great look at that bam there and then also he could look down and he we have movement at the neck this dude's uh, neck swivel is really nice. His neck is moving. I don't think we get that with the flat top figure. And then here, is this dude on butterfly joints? No, but we do get swivel at the uh, at the triceps or the arms or whatever. And then also we get double jointed elbows as well. So that is done really nice and great art movement and articulation. So you ain't got to really worry about uh, messing up the figure, ripping it over time because it's really loose as well so you don't have to worry about that but just keep in mind with anything you want to be really careful with these figures as you doing the articulation and as you moving the figure you don't want it to get ripped or anything like that because at the end of the day they are in tailor suits and then as far as the torso we do get the great articulation here we do get oh really great swivel here he's even better than flat top that is the same so great articulation there. Uh, he could, oh, look at his ab crunch. Man, that is insane. Great ab crunch. That is dope. So you could definitely get this dude some dope poses there. And uh, look at that. The way I'm moving him, he, you can almost do the matrix with him, having him dodge some bullets. That would be dope scene right there. So definitely going to try to do that. And then if I remember, and then here, as far as his legs, this dude could definitely do a, a 90 degree kick. And then he could even get up even higher. Man, this is insane for a suit figure. Here he is with the kick. So if you want to do those kicks, like I said, you might want to raise up the pants a little bit more. And so that way you can get him kicking, which is freaking awesome as well. Man, that is insane. And then also we do get double jointed elbows. And same with flat top. I forgot to let you guys know this, but we do get swivel at the thighs as well. So swivel at the arms right here boom 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 and then also we get swivel here at the thigh so man this dude has better articulation than what i thought and then even the ankle rockers look at that really nice ankle rocker oops this thing came off so i need to put this back on here and uh i don't know how i unscrewed that's my first time ever taking off 
anyone uh, any of my figures shoes but just letting you know this dude has great articulation there so that is freaking awesome here's the socks they are just black so uh for dick tracy i'm giving this dude a 10 out of 10 for the articulation definitely being a suit man this dude has way better articulation than what we get with the batman like batman is really stiff even though he has articulation everything's there but I just wish the suit was a little bit more loose or somehow, some way, give us more articulation. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this jacket on him and then we'll be right back. Guys, so here we are with Dick Tracy with his jacket on. Let's go over the articulation real quick. And just like with the other guy with flat top, this dude has great articulation. And the jacket is loose enough where you can still do that uh, great articulation with this dude and his jacket. So... No complaints there at all. This jacket is a little bit more thicker. Uh, it's thicker than the uh, flat top. But still, you have to work with it. And then you can get whatever you want. You can still get that articulation movement in there with this dude as well. And he's double jointed as well. So, great job, Masco. I think you guys nailed it with these figures and the uh, with their suits. So, 10 out of 10 for him for articulation. And an 8 out of 10, or maybe a 10 out of 10 for uh, flat top as well. But I think Dick Tracy have a better uh, movement and articulation. Just a little bit more uh, articulation than flat top. But overall, I'm giving this dude a 10 out of 10. And flat top, we got an 8 out of 10 for articulation. Now, let's go over the accessories. Something that everyone's been waiting for. And I want to start that off with the jackets. Let's go and go over the jackets. Because I haven't went over that part yet. But let's start off with Dick Tracy since I'm already touching him. We have a flap. It's not bendy wire at all. So you can move it just like what we got with the shadow. But as you can see with the bottom of the jacket, we do have um, bendy wires with this dude all the way around. So you can have that jacket flowing, doing whatever you want. Uh, we don't get bendy wires here. And that's okay. Because we do get the bendy wires here in the jacket. And like I said, you could have this thing flipping up. And then the good thing is they did give us these just like they did with the uh with uh John Constantine. You could or and even they did a they did that with uh Commissioner Gordon as well. You could use that to flap it up in the air as he's running. So that is dope there. And then also we do get these little things right here. And that is nice as well for the jacket. But keep in mind with this jacket, it is yellow. So it can easily get dirty. So just be mindful of that. So great job with the jackets. And then same thing with this dude right here. We don't get a bendy wire up here with the jacket. Man, this jacket looks really nice on this dude. And then same thing, we don't get bendy wire here. But we do get bendy wires at the bottom of the jacket. So you can still have this dude doing some dope running and wind blowing for the jackets as well. Other than that, this is a really nice jacket as well. So great job, Masco. So far, I have no gripes and complaints about either figure. So let's go ahead and go over over the head scopes now uh we're gonna start with flat top first get his head scopes out the way we do have this one i'm gonna take this one off of him so i can show you guys the head scope on there and then i'm gonna move dick tracy out the way so we can focus on the heads but here we are right here this is his original head scope which is done really really nice as you can see one of his eyebrows are up and I don't believe this is the regular head scope. Okay, this is just one of them. But this is not the original one. The orig original one is this one right here. This is the one that came with him, which is really nice. Look really good. And then we have the one where he's raising his eyebrow and his lips or his mouth is a little bit open or the same. And that is dope there. And then also we do get the angry one where he has a little uh, scratch from getting a bruise on his face from getting beat up by Dick Tracy and he's pissed. That one looks nice. This is the one I might have him on the shelf with. And then last but not least, we do get the one where he's looking off to the side or giving that uh, stare like he did in the movie. That is freaking awesome. So let me go ahead and put on this angry face because I like this one more. That is freaking awesome. Now let's go ahead and go to Dick Tracy and see his head scopes as well. 
he does come with three head sculpts and there's something um that i didn't know about this figure and we're about to go over that right now so first here's his first head sculpt here bam 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 and then here is his other two head sculpts we do get this one and yeah we're about to talk about the top let's go ahead and talk about the top right now so as you can see this is the first head sculpt and boom you can take off the top and the reason why you have to take off the top and that is because we do have to put on his hat and i will show you that right now all right you guys so here we are with the hat the hat and the inside as you can see it has all the holes and stuff just like they do for the heads of each uh head scope and then the hat i thought the hat was just a hat that you put on but they really want the hat to stay on which i actually prefer this more and i wish we could have got this with the shadow as well where you could just plug it in right there take off the top put on his regular head or take that off and put on his hat and that's the same thing that they did with uh, with this which is clever really nice and i actually love it at first, I was kind of worried about it. I was like, what the heck? I never I never even noticed that because they didn't show us on no photos. I didn't see it on nothing. But still, really nice. So you could take it off of there. Bam. You could put it on this one if you want to. We have the smiley face there. And then also on this one, we do have where he's angry. He's yelling. And there it is right there. That is freaking awesome. Another one that would have been dope is if we would have had a beat up face of Dick Tracy. That would have been nice. But here we are with Dick Tracy with the hats on as well. And then also with the hat on on this one as well. This is another one where he's smiling. And then this one looks like he's smiling as well. But it does look normal. That looks freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and put that back on Dick Tracy here. And uh, I've got to leave this open for a little bit because there's a reason for that. So great job. And since we're talking about Dick, Dick Tracy... Uh, I want to let I want you guys to hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the way that his hat sits on the figure. And uh, do you agree? Do you like it or do you don't? So real quick, let's go ahead and go over the hands. Uh, I'm not gonna take them all out, but I do have them on camera. Let's go ahead and talk about those. So this dude comes with two holding hands, two open hands. We got two wide open palm hands, as if he's holding something or just doing his hand like he usually do like that and then we also have another pair of hands where he's doing that as well but this one is more in like he's choking someone's neck or grabbing someone that is dope and then we also have the shooting hand we do have a pointy hand this dude keep in mind this dude only has one shooting hand so that is kind of weird that they gave us that I wish we would have had two of them, but we do only have one. And then we have a slap hand for him slapping somebody. And then also are shaking someone's hand. Or and, and then last but not least, we do have the two closed fists. And these hands are big compared to uh, flat top's hands. Here's flat top hands right here. Uh, one of his hand. And then uh, here's uh, Dick Tracy. So Dick Tracy has the exag exaggerated hands. Which is done really nice. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs of exchangeable hands. And then we got an extra one for him to shake the hands or slap somebody, which is done really nice. I, de I de definitely go take photos of him slapping one of the bad guys while he's interrogating him. So that is freaking awesome for Dick Tracy. Same thing with uh, Flat Top. We do have uh, one, two, three, four, and five pairs of exchangeable hands which is done really really nice here they are right here we have a shooting gun hand right here and they get this one because they gave us a different hand for the so he could hold this gun right here so we do have uh two different shooting hands one is for that and then the other one is to hold his tommy gun and then uh yeah that is it and then we do have holding hands as well and then, like I said, we have open hands right here. Shooting hands, shooting hands. Uh, so that is dope. And then we do have holding hands. So freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about the guns. Since we're talking about flat top, let's go ahead and talk about the guns that he comes with. And uh, it's pretty dope. So we have this regular gun, which looks really nice. It looks awesome. Looks real, too. So that is dope. It don't look plastic like uh, McFarlane figures not nah, this thing looks real so that is dope we do get it we can slide it back as well that is freaking awesome and then we also get a clip 
for that as well from the bottom you can just pull this one out and then put this one in that is freaking nice and then also we do have this gun right here this one is the sawed off you can't do it like that as well as if he's putting in more bullets that is freaking awesome so boom he does come with that gun as well and then last but not least we do get his tommy gun right here this one vo uh, folds up into this beautiful violin case as if he's carrying a violin and then you can lock it like that this is really neat this is how it was in the comic books or the comic strips that is done really really nice and i love the case the case is done nice but here we are let's go in and lock this thing and uh create his gun his tommy gun so here we are right here let's go ahead and take off everything out of here we got the handle and then we got one of the other handles the main handle and then also we do have the original gun here let me see if i could take it out i might need some assistance we'll be right back all right, you guys, so here we are with the gun. I was able to pull it out, and then look at the inside of it. That is freaking awesome. Dope. And then here we are with the gun. Boom. Let's go ahead and get this thing ready. Uh, I wasn't sure how this came on or how to take it off because it doesn't come with no instructions, and luckily I did get it right, and man, thank God that I did because I was going to try to pull it off, just yanking it off. No, all you do is just slide it off. And uh, slide it on, slide it off, which is done really nice. And I believe, that, oh, okay. So this one goes here. Boom, you slide it in like that. And boom, you got your handle for him to hold the gun. And then this back one right here, your main holster right here. Boom, you put it up here for the arm where you can put it underneath his arm. And now with this thing right here, all you got to do is just slide it in here and... Uh, hopefully I can remember this, but I think it goes a little something like this. Let's see. Boom. Yep, there it is. So there is this Tommy gun that looks freaking awesome. A rubber gun it is. I think it's a Tommy gun. I don't know. I don't know guns like that. But man, this thing is dope. That is freaking awesome that you could break this down. So he does definitely come with that gun. And then also we get an extra magazine for that. And then uh, we do get this crowbar, which is done really nice as well. We can use that for photos as he's beating someone. We also get this beautiful folding knife. And I think you could put this in his pockets. Uh, I will try it uh, later, but that is freaking awesome there. So I might try to do that off camera, but you don't really need to. I mean, you just have it there. That is nice. And then last but not least, we do get this thing. Now, I don't know what this is used for. I don't know. I have no idea what this is used for. So hit me up in the comment section below. We don't have no instructions on how to do anything uh, with this dude. So let me know in the comment section below if you know what this is used for. And then last but not least, we do get a bomb. So I really love effects pieces like this. This is nice. We definitely can use it in photos. I love this Elite. Remind me of the one with the Joker. So that is it for all the accessories for Flat Top. Great job, Mesco 112. I'll give you more overall uh, grading for this figure or rating for this figure. It's going to be freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and move Flat Top out the way and bring in your main boy right here, the main character, Dick Tracy. So with Dick Tracy, as we already went over both of the head skulls, we get the yelly one, and then we also get this one. I'm really curious to see how the yelly, the yelly one looks on Dick Tracy, and let's see that one right there. And boom, that one looks really nice. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Okay. You know, I, I just watched that movie. I mean, I was watching it on Instagram, so it's just been in my head. Of the Michael Jackson. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it already. With the boy doing it on the, on the wall with the shadows. That is freaking awesome. So we do get three Heskos for him. We also get his uh, his um, holster for his gun. And this one we can actually put over the figure. So I'm going to have to take off everything. And put this on him. Which I would do uh, on uh, off camera. I'll do it right now. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, this is really self-explanatory. All you do is just take off everything and then boom, put this on him like this. The strap goes all the way around. And then we have this bendy uh, strap right here. 
and we just put that all the way up on the figure. Make sure you put it all the way up there. As you can see in the back here, uh, I'm trying to lift this up so we can get this thing on him and continue on with the review. And I'm trying to get on as much as I can, but maybe that is the best. That's just how it's going to have to be. But still done really, really nice. So what I'm going to do is put back on his jacket and then continue on with this freaking awesome review. All right, you guys. So here we are with Dick Tracy. We have everything on him. And here's this holster right here. Almost remind me of the shadow a little bit. Same thing with the shadow and his jacket. Now, this is dope here because we do get his... A gun that he's known for carrying and that is his little revolver gun this thing looks freaking awesome and you can see the bullets in there as well the little um, uh, bullets in there look at that bam 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 that is freaking awesome and this thing you could just put right in that little pouch there and it fits just nice and keep in mind you guys this dude only has one uh, shooting hand so uh, like it or whatever you want to do I still don't care. It's Dick Tracy. They just trying to copy the way that Dick Tracy carries all of his weapons. So that is dope there. And we're going to dress this dude up a little bit. Play a little dress up here. And then uh, this dude does come with. Let's go over his, the rest of his gun. So he comes with one of those guns, right? And then we also have a machine gun here. Boom. I think it's a machine gun or gun. Uh, I know a lot of people take their guns really serious, so they might get upset about it, but this is freaking awesome. We also do have a extra magazine for that as well, so that is done really nice, and it's self-explanatory. Don't need to explain that. That is nice, and I love the way this dude holds the gun on this thing. And then also, we do get this small little handgun right here. This one is really nice as well. Look at that thing. This thing like is a flat black paint on it. And it just looks really nice as well. And he can hold that one in his hand. And then also, we do get this beautiful dope watch right here. Uh, it is really, really nice. Boom. Even though it's kind of plain, but boom. That is dope there. We can take this off. Let's go ahead and take this off and put this on as we dress up Dick Tracy. Now, I'm going to raise his arm up so we get that beautiful big watch on there. Uh, I always wanted one of these watches when I was a kid. I think I, I I got one. I'm not sure. I think it was my brother's that actually had the watch. But yeah, I had the one from uh, the Shadow. I always I always loved the Shadow. And I used to, uh, no Power Rangers is when I had the communicator. But there we are with Dick Tracy and his watch. And uh, I'll try to show off in some photos if I have time to take photos. And then here we are with the effect as if. Is talking through the speaker like in the comic books so that was pretty dope and all you have to do is just take this thing and then just wrap it a uh in front of the watch and it sticks on there really good so there it is right here as if he's talk like when you see in the movies when he's talking or right? even on the stand right here you can see that it has the effects as well so that is freaking awesome there mesco always do a great job with their uh, accessories. Now we also got his coffee cup. He's always drinking coffee when he's sitting at the desk of his uh, of his in his room in his office or whatever. That is freaking awesome there with the coffee there. And then as or if he's interrogating someone, he could also be having a cup in his hand. And then also we do have handcuffs, which are really nice. I did see these from the. Uh, other the Batman that just came out from Mesco 112, so we do get them again. I wish they were working uh, handcuffs. That would have been dope. We do get this flashlight as well. One thing I wish uh, they would have done, which I saw in promotion pictures, but uh, and photos, but I I, didn't, I, th I really thought this light works, but it don't. But this is a flashlight right here, which is really really nice. Really wish this thing could have cut on. Really do. But yeah, that is still dope. And then last but not least, we do get his badge is really, really nice as well. As you can see, I think it says something in there and I'm trying my best to see if we can read it and hold it up here. No, I can't see it. But yeah, we do get his badge and what you can do with his badge. This is what I did with it. You can either put it on his belt, which a lot of people do and uh, or put it through his pants, which you can do that as well. And I'm not going to do it that way. 
I like to put it right here on his in his jacket, and it fits good in his jacket right there. So let's go ahead and try to put that in there. And come on, Zoe, you did it off camera, and I don't want to take too long on this review, so I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So here we are with Dick Tracy. I was able to put it in there, and boom, we do have his badge on there. Now, what I like to do is actually uh, take this thing and then tie it around Dick Tracy. And this is dope, man. I can't wait to take photos. I'm so excited. I've been thinking about this all day low. And then I also was thinking how I'm going to get this figure without the wife knowing. Uh, she's going to kill me because I just bought that other figure, the Void Cadet. Uh, man, that thing is such an amazing piece. But man, this two-pack right here, I ain't going to lie. This thing is going to be probably in the top five for my collection because this is something that I really do love and this is very beautiful uh, piece right here but there we are with Dick Tracy fully loaded and yeah man great 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 figure so that is dope and with both of these figures since we got a two pack which is nice we get some shooting guns effect we do get this amazing one that we always see from Mesco 112. They always give it give us these bullet effects. Now I have a bunch of them now. And then we also get this single gun one. Uh, single bullet effect right here. That is dope too. And then we get this one. This is my favorite one. I think I use for a lot of my figures. I love this one right here. And then last but not least. We do get this one. And I'm pretty sure this one is used for Dave Tracy. Uh, for his little small handgun. So that is dope. And that is it for the accessories so with that being said i'm about to give you my final thoughts we'll be right back hey guys real quick i do want to show off the stands here we are with dick tracy the stand looks really really nice i love the bright colors and i love the photos in the back uh of the main photo that is done really really nice one of my favorite ones so far from uh mesco 112 and then also we do get flat top, which is done really nice. As you can see, flat top in the background as well. They went all out on these figures. Their stands, their accessories are really nice. So we'll be right back. Oh, let's go over the box too. I'm going to go over that. So this is definitely going to be nice on your shelves as well. We do get the uh, Dick Tracy on the front of this one right here. And then uh, just like on the stand, we do get the all the comic book uh animation right there and then we also get dick tracy versus flat top there boom that is nice and then on the back we do get flat top and the animation on the back of that as well so freaking awesome all right, you guys so my overall thoughts on both of these figures why are we gonna start with uh flat top the accessories i'm giving this dude a 10 out of 10 the overall look of the figure i'm giving him a 10 out of 10 and i was fooling around with this figure i'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 for the articulation i think this is a nice piece right here a freaking awesome piece so overall overall look everything I'm going to give this dude a 9 out of 10. Great articulation, great accessories, and great look. And this dude's going to look dope in photos. I can't wait to take photos. So great job, Mansco 112 with flat top. Now let's talk about Dick Tracy. All right, you guys. My overall thought of Dick Tracy. Definitely going to give this dude a 10 out of 10. This is a freaking awesome piece first of all i love the articulation on the figure number two i love the way that he looks he looks just like dick tracy number three i love the way that they gave us his hat and not just uh, just a hat on all three figures but also give us the part where you could take off the hat and swap it out for his regular hair top i really do love that a whole lot this is a freaking awesome piece and I can see a lot of people on Instagram are going to be taking some insane for real photos of this dude right here. Man, you can add this dude with Batman, you can add this dude with, uh, with especially with Batman, The Shadow, any gangster movies or anything you trying to go for, uh, this is a perfect figure to me. This is a perfect figure, especially to be in a, a full suit with a coat is freaking 
insane. So, with that being said, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know what you think about these figures. Are these figures for you? Are you going to pass on them? I know a lot of young people uh, may not know a lot about Dick Tracy, but all of us are in our 35 and above. I'm pretty sure you know everything about Dick Tracy. So, I want to know your thoughts, your comments. Even if you're new here, you don't know nothing about Dick Tracy. I also want to know you guys' thoughts about Dick Tracy and Flat Top. Last thing I do want to do real quick, which I forgot to do, and that is the size comparisons for height and all that. So let's go ahead and do that right now, and then I'll end the review. Guys, here are just both figures standing next to each other. They range around the same height. Now, a lot of people, like myself, are want to do comparisons with the shadows. So let's go ahead and move Flat Top out the way. Now that we know that they both the same height, let's see how he looks standing next to the shadow. Man, these two are going to look dope together. We got red and black and yellow and blue. It's going to be dope. And there we are with the shadow and Dick Tracy. The shadow and Tracy. They both are the same height, so that is nice. Here's an Ezra Miller um, piece right here from the three-pack from Zack Snyder's. And he is shorter than Dick Tracy, so Dick Tracy is a big boy, and he is a buff boy. They use a new body, like a new body scope for Dick Tracy for, for reals. I'm talking about this dude's beefy. And here he is next to a John Wick figure. And John Wick looked a little bit taller than Dick Tracy, but Dick Tracy size as far as his body, this dude's beefy, way beefy than uh, John Wick. So that is it. And then let's do one with John Wick and um, flat top as well. There they are. And John Wick is taller than that dude. I do have a John Constantine. So let's go ahead and bring that dude in. I dropped the cigarette on this dude. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on him. And uh, show that off a little bit. But there he is standing next to Flat Top. And Flat Top is taller than him. But they both range around the same height as well. Let's move him out the way. And then also let's bring in the shadow again for him. And then boom. The shadow and Flat Top are about the same height. Even with the hat. Uh, the shadow is taller. So let's move him out the way. And bring in Dick Tracy one more time. And then what we're going to do is move him out the way. And just to show you guys how he looks with John Constantine. So you can definitely add John Constantine in with Dick Tracy. And Dick Tracy is buffer than him as well. He definitely looked beefy in his jacket. But there he is standing next to John Constantine as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to know your opinion. I want to know what you think about this review as well. Unfortunately... It is late, so I'm not going to be able to take no photos. I will drop that on a separate video, so stay tuned for that. But here we are with both figures right here. Two-pack is freaking awesome. Overall, uh, for the whole thing included, I'm going to stand a perfect rating of a 10. I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.